A North Texas soldier is being remembered tonight as a hero. The young father was killed on Sunday in Afghanistan. Fox Force Peter Dow spoke with some of Robbie Welch's high school mentors and is here now with the story. Peter. It's hard for those who knew Robbie Welch to talk about him without getting emotional. A Wiley High School graduate is remembered as a strong leader who loved his family and his country. Army First Lieutenant Robert Forrest Welch III, who went by Robbie, always knew he wanted to be a soldier like his dad. These are photos from his Facebook page. But only one month into his first tour of combat in Afghanistan, the 26-year-old was killed by mortar fire when insurgents attacked his base. So he was the leader. Lieutenant Colonel Harry Wilbanks was Welch's junior ROTC instructor at Wiley High School, where Welch graduated in 2003. He says Welch was a dedicated Deputy Corps commander and student who went on to earn a degree in military science from UT Arlington. The two men kept in touch over the years, and Wilbanks can still recall their last conversation after Welch was stationed at Fort Knox, Kentucky. He was uh, thanking me for my, my part, and uh, that's just the way it was. Welch was also a lineman for the Pirates football team. Coach Bill Howard remembers him as a goal-oriented player who helped turn the team around. You know, Robbie's going to be remembered in the highest regards, and uh, it was an honor to be part of his life. How will you remember him the most? I'll remember his smile. Welch married his high school sweetheart and leaves behind an 18-month-old son, Robert Forrest Welch IV. Those who knew the young father and soldier are devastated that he's gone, but take comfort in knowing he died doing what he loved. Young man, it's... <clears throat> In today's world, what we call rock stars, heroes, Robbie Welch is a hero. Welch's family is now at Fort Knox, where on Friday there will be a memorial for him. He's expected to be buried at the Veterans Cemetery in Grand Prairie. Peter Doubt, Fox 4 News.